because they're very significant issues that have never been addressed in the Ninth Circuit in California before, which is the right of a parent to make health care decisions relating to whether or not a ventilator gets removed from their child. There is a case in Virginia that's called Baby K uh, that is a case that dealt with that issue. And if you look at Baby K and you look at the complaint that I drafted, you'll see that I took the successful arguments out of Baby K and turned those into part of the complaint in this case. And the court can say that this is such a fundamentally important issue, which we've seen, uh, that the court can hear it even though the immediate issue is um, no longer of such urgency. So what the courts did, and really what the public did, and what the media did, was to buy time. And I'll tell you, if you're going to be fighting with somebody who fights dirty, do it in front of a group of people who got cameras and lights. Because then they can only pull so many things, no matter who they hire as their PR person. But isn't the hearing moot in terms of Jahai? Isn't this case tomorrow? Essentially. No, because there were two issues. One is the restraining order and the order for feeding, to not take her off the ventilator and to give her support. The other is the bigger issue of the her, her constitutional rights were affected. That part's still there. Um, and the court can make a determination as to whether or not the Americans with Disabilities Act was violated, the Rehabilitation Act that says that if you're receiving federal money that you can't discriminate against people. And if you read Baby K, Baby K was about a child with a brain injury that they said was so severe that the hospital wanted to take her off a respirator. And in that case, the court said that you could go forward on the Rehabilitation Act question and on the ADA question. And we've involved two other issues, which is the freedom of the expression of religion and the right of self-determination of your medical care. So those things, the court can either decide to continue forward, which because of the importance might do, or the court might say, Mr. Dolan, this has been rendered moot by the removal of Jai. Is this U.S. District Court? Where, where exactly are it's you? It's U.S. District Court, Northern District uh, for in Oakland. Do you want to place Yeah. So in front of a mag the magistrate judge? Nope. Or another? Judge Sandra Armstrong. Armstrong? Mm-hmm. What time is that here? I believe it's at 1 o'clock. Okay, so we're going to pull away, but this is what you missed. And this is a story we've been covering for the last couple of weeks. You saw the picture of 13-year-old Jahai McMath. Again, she had gone into the doctor, gone in for what was supposed to be this routine tonsil surgery, and ultimately wound up uh, brain dead. And this has really been a struggle between the family and the hospital uh, that's been really keeping her at least breathing with this ventilator. The news, um, and this is probably the reason why they were just talking, is as of midnight last night, the hospital gave custody of Jahai McMath to the coroner who then in turn gave the custody of this 13-year-old uh, uh, to the mother and we have